it hasn't. Nope. Oh, I get nervous being in here. Wait, hey, yeah. it's like you want to panic. So okay. the other question is, why can't yeah. she just give, why can't you guys just stay in that apartment? Why, why does Nene have to give it up? Why can't she get to get paid for it? Why do we want to stay in the apartment here? We try to I get out of the apartment. I said stay there until you guys get about a place. That's what I'm saying. That's what we're doing now. We're staying in the to come back. That she can come back physically able to come back. I know. That's Unless what I'm saying. Well, there's Aaron drying the car. What did we have to do? If he sees me filming him, he'll be like, Mom. Hey, I'm gonna need your, uh, <laughs> anyway. Water. Okay. Hubby needs the water. See, the queen of the car gets to sit down in the seat while the two men do the work. Okay, I got the water. It's about 7 o'clock in the evening or 7.30 and we just decided to come in here and wash the car. Well, they're washing it. I'm just sitting here. So, um, just sitting here enjoying the view. Trying not to cough so much. These allergies. Well, I meant to tell you guys, I had a tooth pulled. I had my tooth pulled, my bottom left tooth. Sorry. There you go. Thank you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they closed it up. Oh, so okay. All right. I had my bottom two, bottom tooth pulled. I don't know if that's not a wisdom tooth because I, I don't have my wisdom teeth in. But the one that's this very last tooth back here, I had it pulled because it was broken. It was like halfway broken when I was eating some bread. And that's what the dentist told me. She said that be careful because you know, your tooth can break very easily with just the smallest, softest type of food. And it happened, it didn't hurt. So she took that tooth out and she struggled. I mean, she struggled. She had the smallest hands. And then after that, I mean, she had to take these big instruments, these little, I don't know what you call these, just different instruments they use so many of them and i'm like mm, god she's calling for this can i have this oh do we have this i'm like oh boy what you doing in my mouth but to numb it she had to numb me three times with that needle oh i can't stand it it just seemed like they're when they put that needle in your in your gum it just feels like they just i don't know maybe they are putting the entire needle in there they could be doing that i don't know how they do it and i don't want to know but then after she took the tooth out finally she did a bone graft so i had to pay extra for that boy i tell you bone graft i don't even know how to describe it she described uh the bone uh, i can't tell you guys she described it and i can't re i can't say it after her because i can't understand it you know enough to explain it to you guys but just look up bone graft or graft. I don't know if it's graft. I'm not, I'm not sure the spelling of it, but anyway, she did it. And right here is still swollen a little bit. So I've been icing it and I have this mouthwash. It's a very nasty one. It's a very nasty, I keep looking because I think Aaron is saying something to me. There's a um, mouthwash that she prescribed for me and a very special one where I have to just rinse my mouth out every night. Um, I guess after I eat, I, I assume. And she doesn't want me to have to, you know, spit. She said, just let the water, let the mouthwash, whatever you rinse with, even warm salt and water, just let it just kind of like drool out of my mouth. She doesn't want any spitting because she doesn't want any um, blood. What does she tell me? I'm trying to remember the medical name. Blood clots or something like that. I'm not going to try to recite what she said. But, um, yes, she doesn't want any blood clots to form and whatever else could happen. So, I try not to do that. I just let it, you know, even when I brush my teeth, you know, just don't. Just let it run out of my mouth and just you know kind of do it like that just very gentle 
So that's what I do. You know, I just try to do the best I can. Aaron is a very good detailer. He's very good at detailing cars, you know, after you wash it. I mean, he's he spends a long time on the same area, but he's very, very good with detailing. I mean, he should let that become a little hobby of his and, you know, detail people's cars. He can make some extra money, you know? That's what I think. But anyway, the car looks clean. They just have to vacuum inside and I'm not getting out. I'm just gonna pick up my legs and that's it. Or well, they can give me the um, the thing and I'll just vacuum inside here under the seat because I don't want to get up. I mean, I don't want to get out the car. I'm comfortable and lazy and I'm just gonna sit here sit here and relax let the men do the work for a change like they do when i cook their meals mm -hmm. they sit back and relax right so now i'm gonna sit back and relax
lettuce. I'm just trying to figure out what kind. Yeah, if you can open the bag for me, because uh, I'll take that. You know what? I don't need it now. What am I doing? Either one. Both of them. Okay, baby. Spinach. I'm not gonna get the big one. Probably both. Let the camera see it when I get it. Mm. Beef oh. brisket. Good. That's for the hubsters. Hubbies. Okay, babe. Why don't you show it? That's it. These pizzas look good. I don't eat meat, so it won't be good for me. But they don't think look good? Hey, yum yum, this one looks good. This one looks good too. Plant based chili is what I like. Is this the one? No. This one's good too. Yeah, but I know the fire roasted veggie, but I like the black bean better. Can you hear me? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Sometimes the owners, they, their process takes too long. Good morning, everybody. This is June. Actually, this is Saturday, June the uh june the 10th we are going to be leaving the place where we are staying temporarily so i just want to give you guys an update this is the last day that we will be staying in this this uh place here and i don't know how i feel about it i know how i feel about it but i better not talk about it because i'll be crying so i'm trying to keep my emotions under control but um i just wanted to show you guys um not show you but just tell you that this is our last day where we are um where we are now we're gonna go to a hotel for approximately two weeks until we can move into our own home so that's the deal so i'm waiting for my daughter her husband and whoever else is going to help move all this stuff out of this this place so <sighs> Oh boy, so I'm just drinking on some coffee right now, which I gotta go get. And sometimes you emotionally eat, so I had a piece of cake and I'm like, I don't need any cake. I don't need any cake, but it is what it is, shoot. As long as I don't do too much, right? So here's my coffee that I'm sipping. So anyway, I'm hoping that we can stick around long enough for everybody to clear out this entire unit because I want to take a last minute, a last minute pan through. Yeah, I'm getting emotional because, you know, it's a good cause, but I want to take an empty home tour of this place as memories. So that's it but i better not talk about that anymore um i have mixed emotions and i would share why i feel like this and you know you know in that video that i told you guys i would do one day when i can get settled in so anyway i'll see you guys later have a good day that's it here's the view from upstairs in our hotel that is so nice i just love that Like my son used to say when he was a little boy, he called these trees, God's trees. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute. But isn't that a nice view, you guys? There's a freeway, our local freeway, of course. I just think that's a beautiful view. And this is the street. You see those cars are driving around. I can't see too good because of the screen. 
There's the American flag, which is awesome. And that's downstairs. I don't know if you guys will be able to see with the screen. And that's part of the front of the hotel. So this is the lobby of the hotel and it looks nice. We like it, nice and cozy. And the people are very friendly. And that TV back there, I love to sit there and have my coffee. And you probably see my stuff right there. <laughs> and the little fireplace. And this is our room. Room 315, third floor. With a queen size bed. Very comfy. It has all the amenities that we need. <laughs> um, it has that nice comfy chair with the air conditioned vent right there and a nice lamp with an ottoman and i love to sit there and read my bible sometimes in the morning but as you can see it's now dark and that's the you know the tv with all of our um you know the tables and things like that with all our stuff on there and it has the microwave you know your standard microwave and your um, refrigerator and whatnot and I'm gonna show you the bathroom next nothing spectacular but it's very clean so we were happy about that I just love how they do that shower curtain <laughs> some of the housekeepers would do it a little bit better than others that's the front door there and to the right of that is a little closet, and I have a few of my clothes in there, and it has a uh, ironing board and an iron and a safe, which I didn't show you the, sh the safe. But uh, I forgot to show you guys. No, I didn't forget to show you. I didn't get a chance to do the, uh, the tour of where we left because everybody did not leave the place where we stayed they were still there and there was too much going on and I didn't get a chance to get, you know, the the time that I wanted to spend there and film for you guys. So, sorry about that. Good morning, guys. We're getting ready to go downstairs and try to do some exercise. I haven't exercised in so long, so we're going to try to do this. Me and hubby. Oh, where am I going? I don't know, but I'm going right here. <laughs> alone. <laughs> how long we've been in here but I think we did a close to 30 minutes the fact that I haven't um, done it in so long I said you know what let's go work out and hubby said he would come in here with me and do a little bit so I'm like woo, hubby's coming to work out you know that's good because he doesn't really you know he doesn't really work out I'm the one that normally works out but I haven't done it in so long since we've been going through all this transition with the moving and Mm, it's a mess but anyway 
I'm cooled off now and sweat has dropped and this hair how do you guys like my hair um, it's not professionally cut it's done by myself I uh, I just got in the mirror and start chopping <laughs> and um, I think I did a pretty good job for amateur you know I try to go along the lines of how they do it but I need to trim the back a little bit because it's starting to grow it was a little shorter and I permed my hair but the thing is wait a minute I permed my hair but I didn't do a good job I messed it up because I don't know why my AirPods keep saying they connected hope you guys can hear me but I permed my hair and I use regular instead of the super. Super is stronger. The regular is just regular and it did not take very well. It did not lay the hair down, you know, like real soft baby hair like I'm used to and I'm quite disappointed. So I really should have gone to another store to get the super, but I didn't do it. Too lazy to go to another store. I just wanted to hurry up and, you know, do my hair. So. Now I gotta wait another six to eight weeks. Mm. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Today is June the 17th. And you know why I'm so happy? Well, you're just gonna have to stay tuned. We are leaving this hotel room. We've been here for a whole week and I've got some great, great news. I don't know if I should tell you guys I'll give you a little snip, snippet. We are moving to our new house. Woo! I can't be too loud. I'm gonna wake up the other neighbors. Yes, we have our house. And I'm so thankful to God. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna get into it in this video, into the details, but there will be a video coming up when I can, okay? Hubby went downstairs to go get the uh, luggage cart so that we can put all our bags and stuff on there and just, you know, take it downstairs to the car, but I'm so happy. This is, I'm not gonna cry. This is a victorious day, okay? So it's time to load up that cart, go get the truck, get the movers and get ready to move into our house. So I will see you guys later. Okay, I'm driving my car and I've got uh, my husband driving the U-Haul behind us, behind me, and then my daughter and her son, I mean, and then my daughter and her husband, they went to grab something real quick and they're going to meet us at our house and try to deliver, unload what I'm trying to say, unload our TVs if possible because we got to meet the movers at 10 o'clock so it's now 9 34 in the morning so we had some things in my daughter's storage uh oh oh i thought i missed my stop yep yeah, stop Woo. sorry <laughs> i don't know why i'm saying sorry you guys can't feel no bumps i'm just so excited to be moving but yeah after we try to unload our things at our home then we're gonna go to another storage where we have two storages there full of stuff hubby just interrupted my call calling me he says make a right up at that street and make a left at the next street I'm like yeah I know I know he didn't know if I remember how to get to our house but I do but anywho what I was saying was and I think I forgot what I was saying before he called me yeah, we had to go to our storage. We have two storage units um, because we have a lot of stuff. And I don't know. 
I have a lot of decor and I'm not throwing away all my decor. I mean, the majority of this stuff is mine. <laughs> and now I got to have my decor, but I am going to be throwing away a lot of what I can throw away. So, oh boy. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to be throwing away as much stuff as I can. But anyway, it's a hot day. It's about 90, or it's going to be 90-something degrees today. And right now, it's warm. It's hot, but it's not bad because it's in the morning. But I know once it hits um, noon, 11 o'clock, noon, 1 o'clock, it's going to be woo-wee. But we have five, um, five people including hubby to do the um you know the manpower all the heavy things and for me i'm just going to be doing the light items you know what i can do so okay guys we are in the house bringing all this stuff here unloading the truck and i am tea tired and i feel weak it just feels like i can't do anymore i'm so tired so anyway i'm gonna let you guys see a little bit of it <sighs> this is tiresome. I know you guys know the ones who have moved. <sighs> There's some stuff here. We got stuff in the kitchen, all over the place. <sighs> and we got some of the things in order. They're gonna connect those two uh, couches. It's, it's one piece, but you can separate it, and they are separated for purposes like moving they're going to uh oh before i tell you that i got this paper down you know sort of protect the carpet a little bit but right in here we have to connect these two um sofas together it is one whole thing though or you can use this two separate ones and then all of our stuff right here so oh boy into the car to unload some more stuff. Oh, God. Take all these things out. And then that's it. That's it for this car.